All right, so let's get into uh, some versus action here. Ja Rule and Fat Joe. Um, I don't expect this to be very competitive. I don't. Joe Joe is going to have to come from another uh, edge here because I I don't know any Fat Joe songs. I know Lean Back. Um, that song he did with a uh, Shanti West Love twin cover <laughs> twins cover um uh that's it <laughs> i can't think of anything um I, i'm pretty sure he has something else uh, uh maybe it's some songs he's been featured on but just his own tracks Char rule is gonna watch this man come on. hold on bro come on man Always on time. Put it on me. <laughs> Mesmerize. Holla, holla. Oh, my that's ready to get Don't holla. get twisted because 50 Cent washed this man from existence. This man has hits. Let's keep going. What? Even though this is Jay Z's song, but you know, it's a feature, right? I'm real, J Lo. Do I need to keep going? We ain't even got to New York yet. I ain't both of them on this. <laughs> it's probably when they go come together. I think Fat Joe is on New York. No, no, no. When he plays this right here, wait a minute. This one's going to set it off. I forgot all about this song, but Bobby Brown brought this out in that Keith Sweat uh, battle he did. Y'all get the point though, right? So it's it's really nothing for me to talk about here. Y'all know how this is going to end, unless uh Joe is coming on that Soldier Boy thing where he he's going to troll Ja Rule. But I don't think Fat Joe is really known for trolling or anything like this. So he's going to have to come out with something, be entertaining somehow. I don't know, but uh I don't expect much from this battle. It's going to be very one sided. So, uh, with that being said, I talked about that. So, let's go ahead and get into the uh, former battle. I'm not going to stay on it too long. Uh, Dipset and the Locks. This was a great battle, man. Um, honestly, I think Dipset, I know more songs from Dipset. And this is where this whole uh, criteria, how is it judged, it's starting to get fuzzy. Because it's supposed to be the popular songs, right? Who has more hits? But then at the same time, um, because it now has this live factor to it, and the audience, the audience is there, and uh, you have to perform. Just Jada Kiss by himself had more stage presence than anybody. I'm talking about uh, Cameron got there late. It took forever for them, the whole crew, to come down, and did Jada Kiss like, um, no, that wasn't Jada Kiss. Um, that was Styles P. Styles P. Ripped the dude from his lawn chair. Cameron sitting back in the lawn chair just chilling while his dudes was going on the flame. So I I don't know. The only time I really just got excited for Dipset was, of course, uh, 06. Y'all know what it is. Balling! I used to say that in 06, man. I used to say that a lot. That used to be my theme song. Balling. Um, other than that, 
of Cameron songs. Uh, Joel was looking crazy with that coat. <laughs> this man still dressing the same. This is 2021. Uh, I know he was hotter. He didn't come out of that thing to maybe like an hour or so later, but I know he was hot in that coat. I don't know what he was going for. Um, but other than that, man, yeah, the versus battle was great. The stage presence from the locks was superb. Even though I'm not, I can't say I'm too familiar with all of their catalog, just from the stage presence alone, I got to give it to the locks. Um, so that's it on the versus. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get back into uh, these album reviews. So we're 